The theme is epilepsy, okay? So epilepsy. But before we start, uh, let's do the flight plan. What is the flight plan for today? First of all, I'm gonna go through some terms again. So we're gonna go through some very important terms and it's very special in case of epilepsy to really define what is a seizure, etc. So we're gonna do that. Then, I'm going to try to go through what are the causes of epileptic seizure, okay? And basically, we're going to go through different stimuli, different triggers, which are able to cause a epileptic seizure, okay? And that concerns also you, okay? If this happens to you, very likely, you can have an epileptic seizure, okay? So, wait a sec. So, triggers triggers of epileptic seizures. Three, uh, and this is an important question for exam. And I'm gonna more in detail tell you what is a syncope and what are the different causes of syncopes. And I, I will then compare it and try to tell you the differences between a syncope and a seizure. And remember today, if I say seizure, I mean epileptic seizure, okay? Yeah. Four, I'm gonna tell you some pathophysiological, pathophysiology background. So some, so some idea, some theories, what is behind the seizures, okay? And the last one is gonna be a Mainly, I'm going to really try to tell you the two main, there are many other theories, but I'll, I'll try to like divide it into two big groups. So, so basically I'm going to tell you the, the causes or theories that are concerning a uh, neur neuron lesion. So lesion within a nerve that could trigger lesion within within a neuron that can cause a uh, epileptic seizure. And then I'm gonna tell you a uh, lesion which is more connected with the neuronal network. So lesion of a neuronal network, okay? Yep, but this is gonna be very theoretical in a way, okay? so. So that was a flight plan, and now let's get to terms, okay? First of all, before we can talk about epilepsy, first we have to define what is epileptic seizure, okay? So first, epileptic seizure. And what I would like to you to understand is that epileptic seizure is nothing else than the clinical correlate that means what your body is doing during a burst of action potentials that happen in your brain okay and the idea is that normally uh, the, the, the brain neurons in, in the networks they are not supposed to be synchronized okay they should like talk to each other but they, they shouldn't sing together like, or they shouldn't sing like a chorus or whatever. If this happens, then you ha you're having a problem, okay? So, so the, the, the neurons should talk to each other, but if they start burst synchroni in synchronicity, that's a problem. And this has a, some clinical correlation. So as you could see in, a, in, in that woman which had a grandma, she, was, she had a classical tonic-clonic seizure, okay? or there was a boy in absence, okay? Every, this correlates with the activity of the brain, which is not proper. 
and seizure is just the clinical appearance okay yeah so that's a seizure so basically the the, the way how the seizure looks like depends on what part of brain is having the seizure what part of the brain is synchronized so in case it's it's just a small piece of uh, motoric cortex you're going to have a motoric seizure and nothing else so there's going to be some movement maybe of a hand and that's it okay or if it's going to be in a visual cortex you're going to see something some some whatever some wild things doesn't matter if it's going to be in auditory cortex you're going to hear something some sounds or whatever okay and if it's going to be frontal cortex your behavior is going to change okay you're going to change your personality for 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 a sec okay so so it's really dependent on what part of the cortex is impacted but of course if this travels and this synchronicity like takes over the whole brain then you're going to have some kind of something like the grand mal uh, seizure or absence etc so those those will be then generalized seizures okay yeah good so remember seizure is just the it's just the manifestation okay and so it's a sign uh, a seizure is a sign clinical sign okay clinical sign yeah that's what you see and it's a sign of a if I would like to define it it's a sign of the temporarily and you can write it I will write it down over here temporarily or temporary excessive synchronization of neurons of the brain of the brain yeah. so it, it's the clinical sign which correlates with this temporary excessive synchronization okay yep so, and what is epilepsy? Well, this is so special. And as I told you, any of us, I can have it tonight. If I will somehow overstretch my brain, if I will overload it, and if you will, very likely many people will have a seizure. And basically remember like at least 5% or even more people in their life will have a seizure. But it doesn't mean that they're having epilepsy. That's a big difference, okay? Basically, anytime you're having syncope, anytime you lose consciousness for a while, anytime you're severely disoriented, you can have a bonus to it, and that's a seizure, okay? So every time somehow the brain is overloaded, you, you, you can have a seizure, okay? Yeah? But basically, if we look at the statistics, epilepsy is seen like in one to two percent of population every two out of hundred are having epilepsy and what does that mean epilepsy is a predisposition for spontaneous epileptic seizures thus you rule out anything that could trigger it any overload any ion changes any whatever and if the person still has seizures doesn't matter once a month once a year but if it's if there is no obvious trigger that would start it then you you can say yes epilepsy and of course this needs to be confirmed on EEG okay yeah so many people will have one seizure and that's it yeah and typically if you're older and you never had seizure if you're adult and you never had seizure well likely uh, th this was just a one-time seizure We'll still come to it later because sometimes it's a really bad sign, especially when you're 50 or 60. But let's say if you're 30 years old and you're having a seizure, uh, very unlikely you're going to have epilepsy, whether it was a some kind of overload of the system. Yeah. Okay. So, but epilepsy means then that it's a predisposition. Predisposition. 
so very likely genetic in, in, in many cases, but not, not only that, but yeah, a two. Repetitive, spontaneous repetitive seizures, epileptic seizures. Yep. Okay. And that that's Caesar and many other famous people are having epilepsy. Okay. Good. Then there is a term epileptogenesis. So it's a, let's say, a consequence of uh, hits that will lead to that a neural network change into, into epileptic network, okay? So it could be during development, okay, when there is a mutation, and remember, the, you know, that this is a first neuronal cell, then it divides into two and then more, okay? So when your brain is developing, then there could be a hit somewhere and then suddenly from this one part of the cortex you know that is developed from this cell now let's say this region now it has a mutated channel or something over there so that's one way or you're having a uh, like totally healthy brain you're born you're fine and then you can have an accident or something whatever and then suddenly a brain turns into a epileptic brain okay so so of course it can be acquired as well yeah yeah so it depends if there are mutations or something irritates the brain and and basically if although it's a new lesion let's say and if you're not able to get rid of the repetitive seizures you're not able to let's say revert it you're not able to uh, correct the cause then the person has epilepsy yeah okay so so epileptogenesis that's the trip to epilepsy okay typically either inherited or acquired whatever brain trauma etc okay and also some drugs yeah uh, or toxins yeah you ingest a toxin and then you you, you can can become someone with epilepsy yeah Okay, and four, status epilepticus. And this is the thing you are afraid of. This is a state where you are seizing, but as you saw the woman, she was seizing only for two minutes and that was it. So most of the seizures will turn off themselves. But unfortunately, rarely compared to normal seizures, this seizure can go on and it can be like that it can turn off and then in half minute starts again and again and again or go continuously and all old definition was like 30 minutes old nowadays we know that this is very dangerous because as your brain is firing and typically uh, if we talk about generalized seizure continuous generalized seizures you can have a status epilepticus like focally that the, the hand's going to twitch like for half hour but this is not so dangerous because it's not uh, like like the rest of the brain is okay so only a small area is uh, is bursting uh, action potentials okay but the the grand mal is very dangerous because you are firing like hell the brain is like basically uh, losing all the atp and you, you can overcook the brain in a way so that's why nowadays it used to be 30 minutes. Let me now we know five minutes. If someone has a seizure that goes over five minutes, immediately, for example, benzodiazepines. Okay, because you want to stop the seizure. Yep. And if it still goes on and going, the last ultimate thing is to put him on in, in general anesthesia. Okay, that's the only way. Okay, so so that, that's the last general anesthesia, like propofol or something. So status epilepticus is very dangerous, and it's because you're gonna use all the brain's gonna use all the ATP and the cells gonna die. Okay, and this is about a term you can find on coiled concerning stroke, and basically it's the, just the same. It's called excitotoxicity. 
that means that the neurons are firing all the time and they will just exhaust their ATP and die. They, they will just uh, destroy themselves by, by overload, yeah? That's called excitotoxicity. This, this term is mainly connected with neurons, okay? Yeah? So excitotoxicity. In a lecture about strokes, it's there explain a lot okay so what is a seizure epileptic seizure over here epilepsy epileptogenesis and status epilepticus so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell and as always Check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials.